a body of work or you don't have any tangible proof in your own life, that's where you need, you have to have courage, but then you also need an imagination, right? And so mindset literally influences the imagination that we have. And what's interesting, as you look at a child, a child's imagination is just out of this world. I mean, they all want to be an astronaut and I want to build a house that, you know, is 5,000 feet tall and I want to do this and dig a hole that we can drive through and do this. And I mean, kids think about some wild stuff because their imagination is out there. The older that we get, the more rational we become in our thought process. It's no longer, this is a cool, far out there idea. It's, mm -hmm. does this make sense? It's, yeah. is this possible? And I'm going to tell you for a lot of us, we limit, and it goes back to what you mentioned earlier, um, a lot of us don't have an environment that in which we're free to express the best of ourselves. When it comes to imagination and dreaming mm -hmm. and thinking about the possibilities, because we've become so rational in our thought process, if we mm -hmm. deem something far out there, we don't even give ourselves the, the flexibility to even dream that it's possible. And so to your point, if those five characteristics of being a man don't seem like a reality, you know, for instance, you think about um, someone who is unhealthy, let's just say they're 200 pounds overweight, right? Yeah. And in their mind, they're like, there's no way for me to get a six pack and to be, you know, like a professional athlete or whatever. And it's no way for me to get myself in that shape. They, in their mind, start thinking like, it ain't possible. I'm not even thinking that I can become, you know, ripped and in shape and get off of all kinds of medications because yeah. I don't see it being possible because rationally it doesn't make sense for me to go and lose 200 pounds. But then mm -hmm. that person with the childlike curiosity, with the imagination, without limits can say like, man, I could lose 500 pounds if I needed to and be a bodybuilder. Like what's stopping me, right? But yeah. it, it goes back to this whole mindset. And again, you're a mindset development specialist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and that's the thing is that, you know what? I mean, these things, although they may be characteristics, but they're very limiting. Mm -hmm. Very limiting. Because what they don't tell you is that you need a character with these things. You need a, you, is the content of a character that actually make up these things. So when you haven't had the influence that influenced your character correctly in the form of a father, and you don't have any of these things, then what do you become? Mm. You know, unless you come across a mind Dorsey who's going to trick your mind to imagine something outside of yourself. Mm. By God's grace, something happens that you're watching, maybe you've got to to something that kind of triggers the possibility outside the walls of your mind that can transcend your own experience. Unless that happens, you find a lot of our brothers and sisters are just gonna are just gonna accept that to be their destiny. Mm. The destiny is that there are no jobs. The destiny is that well, I'm just a guy that's grew up in a poor environment, and what can I do? Mm. The system is against me. All of the, all of that, all of that, and all of that. But I love what you mentioned about imagination. Starting with entertaining the idea that there, there can be something more to the that, to to life than this. And then you start asking yourself the questions, what is that, all right? And where can I find it? How can I find it? When can I get there? You know, where can I go for help? Who is willing to help me? What is it that is within me that is sort of stopping me from getting there? Is there something that I can learn that can make me better, try it, better, better, better oriented to see something more, to be something more? You start asking all these questions because once you get to the point, as I said, of maturation, where you have independence of your intellectual capacity, mm. and you're not, you're not necessarily you're not necessarily uh, dependent on other external factors to tell you what to think, but you can facilitate information as it enters your mind. Mm. You can direct it according in line with your purpose, in line with the things that you don't want, and then channel that into the things that you want. And all of a sudden, your thoughts then begin to arrange themselves in line with what you want, then you have developed these frameworks of awareness that help you to notice things that you couldn't notice before. 